Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I'm going to talk about the hardest way to meet women. Okay, the hardest way to meet women. And the hardest way to meet women is by trying to meet women on online dating sites. Okay, that is the hardest way to meet women. Now, if you know how to navigate with online dating, right, it'll be easier for you than, you know, compared to the average guy who doesn't know what he's doing. But for most dudes, online dating is going to be hard as fuck, right? And the reason why online dating is going to be hard is because when it comes to online dating, you don't have that much to play with. You understand? You don't have that much to use to attract the girl, right? So all you really have is like your pictures. You have, uh, you know, maybe some text in the bio and then you have to message them and, you know, do that. So what happens is is that you're limited when it comes to online dating, right? See, online dating is gonna work for, you know, guys who are good looking, guys who know how to take really good pictures because, you know, most of it is about your pictures. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that um, if you don't really got that shit popping with your pictures, it's gonna be really hard for you to get shit popping with these chicks. Also on online dating, women are more picky. You understand? And they're also more fickle and flaky when it comes to dealing with online. See, the thing is, when you meet a chick in person, right, you know, as far as like you're not talking to a woman online, you just go to a bar club, an event, whatever, right? When you meet a chick, you know, like that way, you understand? What's going to happen is, is that you have more to use to attract the chick. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that, you know, let's say if you are at a bar, at a club or whatever, right? You can approach a girl, and even if you're not exactly her physical type, you feel what I'm saying? You can still have a conversation with her, um, you know, and if that energy is there, you can still get her. She'll be feeling you. You understand what I'm saying? But the thing with online dating is that you can't do that. You feel what I'm saying? You can't do none of that shit. See, when you're, you know, meeting a chick, you know, in person at a bar club, whatever, just randomly, a chick could actually be attracted to you because of your smell you feel what i'm saying meaning you could basically be uh wearing some cologne that she likes and that gets her attention as you pass by or as you're like in her vicinity and you start talking to her and that'll make her open up to you don't want to talk to you and interact with you you see what i'm saying but the thing is you can't do that on a online dating site you feel what i'm saying so you're just limited to your pictures and the messages you send you see what I'm saying? And so the thing is, is that if you want to get more women, if you want to make more shit happen, you have to go outside. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Now, ain't nothing wrong with doing online dating. You know, I do a lot of online dating. But the thing is, is that you need to know how to do it. And this is why I tell you guys to go to Bad Boy Membership, because I have two programs on online dating. I have the Easy Way to Date Online for Men, and I also have Advanced Online Game. All right, so you guys can check out both of those. Because if you're trying online dating, you know, you can get shit popping. But for the average dude, it's going to be hard, especially if he doesn't know what he's doing. You feel what I'm saying? Because the thing with the thing with online dating, you know, women they're getting hit up all the time. And so what happens is is that it's easier for them to be more fickle more picky and all this other stuff but if you're at a bar at a club or whatever you approach a girl and it's just you and her talking at that moment right and she's feeling you it's like you got her attention right there you could you know potentially actually you know have sex with her that night because she's feeling you at that moment you know feeling you right there you know what i'm saying so you definitely gotta um you know brush up on your game outside see what happens is a lot of guys they they try to do online dating because it seems safer. It's like, oh, I don't got to approach no girls. I can just swipe right on these girls and all that other shit and do it that way. You see what I'm saying? But the thing is, is that what a lot of guys will notice is when they're doing online dating, it is hard for most dudes because they're like, damn, I'm swiping on all these girls. I'm hardly getting mass matches. Um, when I do get the match, you know, I send her a message. She don't respond. She don't send no message back. And then you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And so... You're doing that because you think it's safer. But what happens is that you have more to play with if you're actually, uh, you know, hollering at a chick 
at a bar, at a club, at an event. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that it's actually easier to meet women at these functions than it is to meet them online. You understand? I remember, like, I, I think I talked about this before where I, I matched with a girl on Tinder one time, right? And I sent her a message and she sent me back a message and then I sent her another message to say, hey, let's get together. But she didn't respond back to that. So I think maybe three or four days later or something like that, I went to this event and I saw this chick at the event. So we locked eyes because I guess, you know, we recognize each other from the, from the, um, from the app or whatever. And as soon as I rolled up on her, it was like super easy. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing was, is that because I'm now in person with her, it's easier for me to, you know, make shit happen. See, the thing is, is that, you know, you could get a chick from an online dating site to match with you and me y'all message each other, y'all go out and everything. But the, the thing also, too, is that, and this is something else guys got to understand, is that if you are not well-versed in the game, you know, the online dating shit's not going to work for you anyway because what's going to happen is you're going to have to meet that girl in person at some point. You feel what I'm saying? So even if you're getting a lot of matches and all this other stuff, you got to meet the chick in person. And if your game isn't tight, shit's not going to go nowhere anyway. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, if dude's thinking, oh, I'm just going to do the online dating thing, it's going to be super easy. I'm going to just, you know, match with a chick and try to hook up real quick or whatever. You know, that could work, but it works if you if you know what to do. You feel what I'm saying? If you don't know what to do, it's not going to help you. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like if, let's say, for example, you know, you wanted to make a movie, right? But you ain't got no equipment. You ain't got no cameras. You ain't got no editing equipment, whatever. But then I give you the editing equipment. I give you the, um, you know, the cameras and all that other shit. But you don't know how to use the camera. You don't know how to use the editing software. So even though you got the tools to make the movie, because you don't know how to make the movie, you're not going to get anything made. The movie's not going to be made. Same thing happens when you're dealing with these chicks. You can, you know, match with a chick on a, on a site or whatever, you know, get her to come meet you on a date. But if you don't know how to finesse that situation, if you don't know how to build that sexual tension, you don't know how to flirt, you don't know how to get her in that, that mode to want to make something happen, then it don't matter how much, you know, uh, matches you getting on there. You see what I'm saying? Same thing if you're approaching a chick, you know, just on some regular shit at a bar randomly. You understand what I'm saying? If you don't know what to do, shit ain't gonna work for you. You feel what I'm saying? But the thing, but at the end of the day, the thing that I'm trying to get you guys to understand is, is that it's going to be easier for you to, um, you know, get the chicks when it comes to you meeting the chicks basically at the bars and clubs. You feel what I'm saying? When you're randomly meeting these chicks, it's going to be way easier for you to do that than to do it on the online dating site. Because the thing also, too, is you got to understand that on these sites, you got a lot of attention whores. You got chicks who are time wasters, all this other stuff. You understand? But when you're face to face with a chick, you know, in that moment and you're making shit happen, it's easier for you to get things going because you have so much other things to use in the situation that is going to help you get the girl. Because, for example, when you're in person, right? Your, the tone of your voice, you understand um, what you're saying in real time, you, know, you understand, uh, you know, uh, the way you're dressed, your, your fucking, uh, the, like, you, like I said earlier, the way you smell, all these different things, take, you know, take into account when you're interacting with the chick. Because you see, the thing with the online thing is like, you send a message, they got to, she got to send you back, then you send a message, whatever. And so it may take a chick, you know, a few hours to day to reply to you sometimes. But if you're right there in person in front of her, it's easier to make shit happen quickly and make that, you know, shit pop off because she's right there. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So the thing is this, you know, definitely use online dating. But I would say use it as something, you know, as, as, as something else you're doing on top of actually going out to make shit happen with these chicks. You feel what I'm saying? Don't just use it as your, you know, the only thing you're using in most cases. Don't see, this is the thing. I would say the only guys that, could, that should really use it or can use it as their only thing that they're doing is if you're the type of guy who's getting a shitload of matches a day. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, I get on Tinder 
I'll probably get anywhere between like 12 to 20 matches in a day. And that's like, you know, that's like a, a, a really good day. You feel what I'm saying? On a really good day, like on an average day, it's probably like 10. You feel what I'm saying? But it's, that's still uh, a good amount to where, you know what I'm saying? You could, you could get shit popping. But you have guys out there who they're on Tinder or they're on these other things. They'll probably get like, you know, one match a week. You know what I'm saying? And so to, to waste all that time on there, if that's happening, doesn't make sense. Now, again, you can, you know, step up your online dating game by understanding the things you need to do in your pictures, in your bio, and the messages you send to make shit pop. But still, it is way easier to just randomly meet chicks in person, right? So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, click the link below, and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Click the link below to get the ebook 60 Second Game. In this book, you'll learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection, and honesty can affect your game. Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up, it's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership Dot com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com